Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the wedding preset look for free. All it's going to require is just a little bit of work and Lightroom. It's not that hard. Trust me. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So let's get started. So first things first, I would recommend you use a picture with some greenery in the back. That's going to be very important for this type of look because I feel like what makes it stand out is the tone of the greens, you know, that those bright green tones, they're so beautiful. So just grab any picture you have. Maybe you got a patch of grass, maybe a tree. I grabbed this photo of a wedding I shot. You know, we got some grass here, some trees, and we're good to go. First things first, I'm going to go on over to the tone curve and I'm just going to add a couple of points. Nothing too crazy. I like to start with the tone curve just because I like to set the exposure and things like that. Even though there is exposure right here, I mean, I just want to start off. I just like the tone curve. Like, that's it. There's really no other reason why. So we're going to get to the exposure though. I didn't forget about that, but... Um, what I like to do is get rid of all of the deep blacks. So as you can see here, I'm lifting up this point, which controls the blacks. If I bring it down, the blacks get darker. And then if I bring this up here, you can see that it turns into a little bit of a lighter gray. So we're just kind of filling in, you know, the, that black. So I'm going to lift that up a little bit. And then we're going to get rid of all the pure whites. I see this in a lot of wedding photos. They kind of gray them out a little bit so just pay attention to her dress here we're going to just take this uh, highlight point and just bring it down a little bit and then you can add as many points as you want but i like to just keep it simple like if i wanted to i could add another point but i really yeah i don't really see the need i think that we have enough points right here and for any reason, if I need to, I can adjust this later on. This looks good so far. This is before and that's after with just the tone curve. So now we're going to go on over to the temperature here. And then I want to go on over to the left and just add a little bit more of a blue tint to the photo. I find a lot of those wedding presets are more on the blue side. So just adding a little bit more blue changes the temperature of the photo. So we're already on the right track here. And then exposure, I'm going to bring that up just a little bit because I feel like a lot of those pictures are really bright. So in doing this, you're going to lose a little bit of the details in the dress. So I'm going to go on over to the highlights, bring that down, bring down the whites as well. And that's before, that's after. We're not, not done yet. We're going to do a couple more things and we'll be good to go. Next thing, we're going to go on over to the Hue Saturation Luminance tab. Now, this is why I told you guys you'll, you'll need a photo with some greenery in the back. Because if you go on over to the green section here, you can control the hue of the greens. And I just think this transforms the entire photo. So you can select a green that you like. If you want the synthetic fake grass look, you can do that. If you want, I don't need, this is, is this even like naturally a... This is like dying grass kind of color. If you want the dying grass color, you got that too. They got a variety. So um, we're going to be selecting this hue of green. And you can bump up the saturation if you want it. If that's your style, you can bring down the saturation for a more subtle look. Um, also, luminance will make the grass brighter or darker depending on what you prefer. For this, I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep it as is. We're not going to do anything crazy with luminance. As far as the highlights go, you don't necessarily need to add these, but I'll show you guys. If I were to edit these, I'd probably add a small blue highlight to this. And I'm talking about two or three. And then as far as the shadows go, I'm going to select maybe a yellow color and add a very slight shadow. We're going to keep that at five for now. And then going down to the last step, calibration. This is such a fun section. I love selecting the calibration. We have red primary, green primary, and blue primary. Uh, so I'll show you guys toggling the hue back and forth. You can see it changes a lot of the color scheme. So I really like this section. Let's see what we will do with this one. I think I'm going to 
see what the green is going to do first. So maybe I'll do the green primary first and we'll bring that. We'll change the hue just a little bit. And then red primary. I think I'm going to I'm not going to do too much with red primary. You kind of have to just toggle them and see what works. So right now, this is what I got. Let's see what, let me see if I can add any more blue. Like I want to add blue, but it's not working, but I'm trying to make it work. I think I just need to accept what it is right now. <laughs> okay, so that's what we got so far. I think the green primary really does make a difference with the hue of the, the greens in the back. Um, so obviously it is very important to have a picture with some greenery. So, you know, find a tree, guys, take a picture and uh, take it into Lightroom. And <laughs> you can follow this tutorial. So there we go. Um, last tip I would give you guys. If you want, you can select the yellow tab on the hue, saturation, and luminance section. And then also toggle the hue or saturation. It will add a little bit of yellow and change it depending on the lighting and the and the you know the colors that you have in your photo every photo is going to be different so it's really hard to say but make sure to not forget the yellow section as well so yellow and green primarily let's just fix the curves layer one last time i always just like to go through and fix up anything And then one last thing I'm going to do is just maybe add a tiny bit more exposure to that photo. Another tip is you can also decrease the contrast if you like that type of look. If you want it to be a little bit more saturated, be a little bit more bold, you can add more contrast. It's really up to you. I'm just giving you guys some options here. So, All right, so that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the final outcome. Let me show you. This is before and this is after. So I hope I saved you guys a couple bucks, you know, maybe what well, how much are presets these days? $500 maybe go you can invest that in the stock market or something. I don't know, buy a pizza, buy a Nintendo Switch. Who knows? It's you just save some money hopefully. So I really hope you guys like this tutorial and like the final outcome. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I would love to thank you guys for watching.